You might feel broken, but when you feel broken, that's when God moves. Break our anointing moves to our brokenness. Out of your brokenness will come breakthrough from many people. Five mantles of the new You guys ready? Alright, bam, rock on. Number one, the breaker anointing. Say the breaker anointing, alright? Now I love Lindy and hopefully because she talks about she carries the breaker anointing and I know she does. I know Benjo does. Uh, I know my friend here does. I know Tony and Ellie do. Who here wants the breaker anointing? Woo! Amen. So let, let me let me just discern. I, I I've been telling Sherry, I feel like there's been a teaching gift uh, that's been resting on me for the past two weeks. I, I'm not just preaching, but I'm teaching, okay? I got all these scriptures. I can give you guys the notes and stuff like that. But number one, the breaker anointing. Somebody who moves into breaker anointing knows how to shift the atmosphere. Do you see what we did right there? Yeah. Flags and all that stuff? Listen, listen. The breaker anointing is more than just an individual ministry. It becomes regional. When you move in a brick or anointing, yeah, you could give single words of knowledge, you could give single words of prophecy. Does anybody hear me right now? You could give single words of impartation, but all of a sudden it breaks out into a whole region coming under the power of God. So when you move in a brick or anointing, no longer is it just about this, this, no, no. It's a whole corporate anointing. It's a whole corporate atmosphere. So what happened right now is that we discern what is God doing. And what is missing in the atmosphere. We discern how do we pull down from heaven what is necessary for us to shift into the next level. To shift. Have you ever felt there's heaviness in your room? There's heaviness in your heart? There's heaviness in the church even? Even after an hour of worship and you got some of the best people? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, you know what? You start discerning and you break through the atmosphere. Can I get an amen? All right? So a break for anointing. It causes you to do number 21, 17. I'm going to just quote a lot of scripture. All right, just, it's the Bible, all right? It says, spring up, O wells, spring up. What does that mean? There's a well in your belly. Can I get a hallelujah? There's a well in your stomach, and the Lord is saying, it's time for the river of the Holy Ghost to spring up out of you. And sometimes you got to beat your flesh. Sometimes you got to beat through all of that junk of the carnality of the land of Canaan so you can move into the land of promise. And God is saying, spring up a well because the break for anointing causes you to discern what you need to activate to the next level. Listen, when there's a well in the ground, sometimes you need to go to that land and you need to start striking it. I'm telling you, the prophet Elisha is saying, why did you only strike the ground for three or four times? Why did you only strike the ground? In the amount of time you're going to strike the ground, it's, it's the amount you're going to get the breakthrough. And God is saying, keep striking the ground because the more you strike it, the more you break through, that well is going to start rushing out. I'm telling you, there's so many things that God has for you. There's so many hidden mysteries. There's so many treasures. But God is looking for the people who will strike the ground that you will not give up, but you will press through. You will understand what you need to go to the next level, and you will strike, 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 and spring up. Oh, wells, come on, get a get amen. You're no longer, it's not just the well of your own individual life, but it becomes a city well. Hallelujah. It becomes a well in your town, where even the Samaritan woman, where she's sitting at the well, all of a sudden, people start coming, and Jesus, look, there's Yeshua, that Jewish man, why are you talking to me? I'm here to tell you that there's going to be a time where people are going to worship me, people are going to worship God in spirit and in truth, because there's a well inside of you. Because there's a well inside of you, people are going to come to you. You're going to give them a fresh drink. You're going to give them a drink that never ends. Can I get an amen? Spring up a while. The break of anointing gives you understanding and discernment to know how to shift the atmosphere. The new breed, can you hear me? Does anybody hear me right now? The new breed will know how to break through the atmosphere. Of course, scriptures here talk about Baal Perazah. Hey, woo. In 2 Samuel chapter 5, 20, the sound of many rushing waters. His voice is like the sound of many rushing waters. Like the waterfalls of glory, pound after pound, beat after beat, wave after wave, flow after flow. It just keeps rushing. Is his word, is his voice. And like the sound of many rushing waters is the breaker anointing that breaks through like a dam. Oh, the dams are breaking. It's an open heaven. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. The devil breaking. Oh, it's my paradigm. The Lord is the breakthrough. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah. What dams are in your heart that's making you feel damned? It's time for those dams to be broken. Because Paul prayed on the Lord to break through. He was rushing through. Breaker anointing. Can I get a hallelujah? You see, it's worship. Ha ah, ha It's worship that opens up the heavens. It's your worship. It's your song. It's your voice that opens up the heaven. That's why sometimes we release certain sounds. That's why the show for That's why all these things. We release certain sounds. Because we're discerning that that frequency is going to release that atmosphere of heaven. Ah, okay. That's why there's so many different sounds in heaven. Every tribe, nation, and tongue. It's not just one singular sound. There's a time of unison and uniformity, but no, no, no. Now there's a time of diversity. Many sounds. You know, it's interesting. You guys still follow me? Is anybody receiving right now? Is anybody watching right now? Okay. This is only number one or five. Shigibiki. What happened with Moses? You guys still follow me? What happened with Moses? He stood on a mountain. He lifted up his hands and he began to pray. Intercession causes the Red Sea to part. Breaker anointing. Ball Paris hand. Where the rivers start opening up in your life. Spring up, O oh wells. And now, as the river parts and splits, it comes crashing down on your enemies. Wow. Hello. So good. Why? Because your intercession, when you have Aaron and her holding up your arms together, where a cord of two or three is not easily broken, two or three, it is established on earth as it is in heaven. As you begin to pray and intercede, I may be feeling tired, I may be feeling weary, I need some backup, I need some help, I need some support. But as I begin to intercede, I understand that there is something that's shifting, there's something that's being released, and I will continue to strike, I will continue to release. And now, as the wells of God are springing up, as the rivers are parting, it's going to cause judgment on all my enemies. Can I get an amen? That's what the breaker anointing does. You might feel broken, but when you feel broken, that's what God moves. Breaker anointing moves to our brokenness. When you understand that even as Jesus, Yeshua's body was broken in many pieces, when you feel broken, that's when that piece of bread is going to feed somebody else. The breaker anointing. Bend me, Lord! Bend me, God! Is anybody ready to feed the multitudes? Are you ready to feed the masses? Well, let's bring that bread. Out of your brokenness will come breakthrough from many people. Can I get an amen? 